Time for questions. All right, time for some live chat questions okay. from the audience. If you got questions for us, all you have to do is go to CBN.com. We'll be glad to answer them on the program. This is Hannah, who says, I'm 11 years old and studying history this summer. Is it okay to learn Greek mythology? Um, Hannah, the Apostle Paul, knew a lot about Greek mythology. And if you read his letters closely, uh, his understanding is, is quite profound. Um, uh, and he knew nuances uh, among the various cities uh, and the differences and, and how uh, those in Crete, uh, what they knew, the Scythians, what they knew, what the men in Athens knew, uh, what the men in Corinth knew. And he would change his message. Uh, depending on what city he was in and, and where he was uh, preaching the gospel. Uh, he did that, and then he resolved, well, I'm just going to start preaching Christ and him crucified. So it's okay to know, and, and uh, you know, if you look at any mission, missionary, they know a great deal about the thought patterns of, uh, and the cosmology uh, thought patterns of any target group. Uh, and so I think it's helpful to know. Now, uh, if you go start offering bulls to Athena, then, you know, that, that's a whole different thing. <laughs> but just reading the mythology and getting educated uh, is not going to harm you. Okay, here's a question from one of our viewers. He says, I have a friend who is Jewish. He doesn't mm -hmm. believe that Jesus is the Messiah. He's still waiting for the Messiah to come. So if the Jews don't believe in Jesus, why do Christians so ardently support Israel? Because the Bible says that if uh, we bless them, God will bless us. Uh, and it's very simple. Uh, the Bible also explains uh, why there's a veil over them. And you read Paul's very specific in the book of Romans on, on why. So um, uh, there, there's going to be a time, and Zephaniah prophesies of this, there's going to be a time where they're going to look on whom they've pierced, and they're going to turn. Isaiah asks, can a nation be saved in the day? And the answer is yes. Yes, and when Messiah comes the second time, uh, then we'll all see that wonderful answer together. Okay, this is Gina who says, I was at a party recently and they had a hypnotist. He was funny. When I was mm. talking about him to a friend, she said that hypnosis was demonic. What do you think? Um, of itself, no, but if there's, um, you, you open yourself to suggestion and you're opening yourself to uh, powers that you really don't understand. and. Uh, if, if it's uh, focused on Jesus, you're fine. If it's not, you're not fine. Um, so there's a reason we can be hypnotized, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it for the average Christian.